just this is a good example of shallow knowledge. I was in a bar in Virginia City during Biker Week. They have those quite frequently. And bikers come in from all over the, the country to go up there and party down at these uh, Wild West saloons. Of course, there's no closing time in Nevada, so the bars stay open very late. I was actually staying. I was house sitting. Um, I have some friends in Virginia City, so I was house sitting in a house one summer. <laughs> And I'm, I'm at one of the bars at the uh, Union Brewery, in fact. I'm having a beer, and a woman comes up and sits next to me and just strikes up a conversation on her own. And early in the conversation, I'm, I'm talk, chatting with her, and she said something about her bike out front. So I said, oh, you're a biker chick. Now, this is how stupid I am. I didn't know that that doesn't necessarily, that isn't necessarily a friendly term to use to a woman who rides a Harley. So she, turns, she, she laughs, though. She turns around. She goes, hey, Tiny, this guy just called me a biker chick. And I turn around, and Tiny, of course, is 250, snarling, tattoos, tats all up and down his arms, big beard, the typical biker look on here. And Tiny looks at me, and his brow furrows. And this is really the Wild West up there. And there, there are fights up there all the time. And it would not have been a long fight. Right at the time that his brow furrows, I remember a phrase from the book Hell's Angels that Hunter Thompson had written. And I don't even know if I have this right to this day. And people correct me all the time. But at some point, the Harley Davidson had a panhead engine. And in the 50s, they switched to what's called a shovelhead engine. I think I have that right. So I looked at Tiny, and in a split second, I knew I had a gamble. And I said, Tiny, is that your panhead out front? Not knowing what the hell I was talking about. <laughs> Tiny's face breaks into this big grin, puts this, this paw on my shoulder, literally lifts me out of the seat, says, come here, buddy, hauls me out front. He had the only panhead out there. I mean, I could have said, is that your shovel head out there? I would have been wrong, because he had a 40-year-old bike. And I had to stand there for half an hour with Tiny, still his big paw on my shoulder, thinking of other things to say about the bike. <laughs> that sure is shiny chrome, Tiny. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Now, as it turns out, I know a little bit about art and stuff. Uh, my friend Mark actually spent some time uh, doing airbrushing uh, bike um, gas tanks. And this guy had, an air, you know, had the flames and the skull and stuff. So I knew a little bit about that. But this is a good example of how a little tiny fraction of knowledge Save my ass. I use this all the time when I talk to people. If I go into a room and I don't know anything about the people there, I don't know anything about the business, I, you know, I don't have a photographic memory, but I do. I am, I am interested in the human race and in civilization enough that I can pull something up to just start it. And you don't need much. 